Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Happy birthday to you again. Let's get into this reading. We are doing a five card spread about your relationship. Okay, so this is for those of you who are connected to someone. We did singles yesterday. We're doing people who are already in relationships, whether you be married, it's a situationship, it's a complicated relationship. It's a full-on relationship, whatever it is. Okay, so your pre-shuffled messages are balancing act. We have their loss. We have romantic fling, dead weight, sleepless night, suffering in silence, success, and love and family. I feel like there are two people coming through in your reading. So there's one that you've cut off, and good job, because it looks like somebody that was just holding you back, dead weight. I feel there's a strong Scorpio or Gemini person. That you have cut off and you have a connection coming in that's very balanced okay it could start off kind of fiery and passionate and more of a physical thing that then um i just saw one 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 on the timer then more of like a serious relationship but it will actually turn into something pretty serious um if you're already seeing this person if you already know the person you're dealing with um is the person that you plan to have a future with or you could see a future with it looks good. I see success. I do. And I see you finding love and marriage in this person or some of you are already with this person and you're on your way to that. So let's get into your cards, your five cards. Okay, so what's going on in love for you when it comes to your own energy? How are you feeling about your love life? We have the last time. Final over reminiscing and last straw. So this is you definitely cutting someone off. Okay. Something that someone has done to you was the last straw. They don't get any more chances. They were dead weight. Okay, so what do you feel about what's going on with your special person, rather? Okay, so for a lot of you, it feels like this reading is going to be about someone you may be going through a tough time with. I'm seeing a Capricorn, a Scorpio, or a um, Gemini person for a lot of you. Somebody has a personality disorder showing up here. You feel like this person is cruel. They disassociate. You feel like they have multiple personality disorder or like an alter ego. Hmm. You can feel like the person is greedy, vain, or they see in black and white, like there's no gray area with this person. They could feel like they're always right. And maybe a lot of mood swings with this person. Now, I want y'all to understand. I'm looking at the relationships you're in. People that you're, I don't know what this person has done to you, but let's just move on. Okay, so what's going on with the relationship spirit? We have throne, authority, royalty, kingdom, and birthright. Okay, so I do see you attracting someone possibly an Aries person I feel like or Virgo there's somebody that wants to come in and build an empire with you so some of you are definitely in that in between of like breaking up with someone and meeting someone new or maybe you've already broken up with the past person and you're seeing someone new because we're focusing on the present energy and moving forward not past people so where's the connection going we have the next best thing second best rebound default settling and backup plan Okay, so I feel like this is you choosing another option here. Somebody else is about to win you over. Okay, what's your special message? I'm going to get some tarot to kind of clarify this. We have knowledge is power. Okay, so you have the page of swords. Leap Aquarius, Gemini energy. There could be a younger air sign in your energy. Or this could be a long-awaited message coming in. Or finally meeting the one. Like <laughs> after doing a lot of vetting of people, a lot of trial and error. Um, this message says that this person wants to talk a lot. This is a person who really likes to talk. They ask a lot of questions. They're very studious. They pay attention to details. They think before they act. Um, and this is telling you to explore new ideas. Listen to your intuition. This is high energy. Good news. Okay, so there's some long-awaited good news coming in. This feels like finally meeting the one. I feel like it's a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, or an Aries person for a lot of you. And then we have business relationship and partnership. That's crazy because y'all got that last week. That's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's get into what these cards are talking about. When it comes to you, we have you saying something is the last straw. You cut someone off here. 
What is this all about? We have the strength card, Leo energy, and we have the tower. Okay, yeah. So some of you finally found the strength in your own major arcana to cut something off, to end something with someone that you knew was going nowhere. It didn't have any legs to stand on. The tower is when something is destroyed so something better can be built. And I do see that happening. What comes after the tower? The same card y'all always pull, the star. So there's going to be hope. There's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. There's going to be like new love, falling in love after a heartbreak. Okay, so I'm seeing Scorpio, Aries, and Leo energy here. I feel like the Leo energy is obviously you. So some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, a Capricorn, a Gemini, um, or whatever else I said. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with your special person? This feels like somebody that you cut off. What's going on with them? Why are they showing up? Because they're not really your special person. But I guess they were your special person. Somebody's name could be David. We have the five of wands. Yeah, this is somebody you've been arguing with. So there's an argument. There's a clash of egos. Or this person was putting you in competition with other people. It could be possibly another Leo. Or this is just you standing up for yourself against this person who was very cruel. Somebody that you never knew what you want to get with them. Their mood swings. Their personality disorder. They're disassociating from you. Ain't nobody got time for that. So when it comes to the relationship, we have a really stable person coming in. Somebody that knows what they want. They want a traditional relationship. They're very serious and disciplined. They're accountable. I told y'all yesterday, somebody who doesn't like to argue, let's just fix it. Let's be mature about the situation. You have the Ace of Pentacles. And this talks about building on a solid foundation, solid ground. This is somebody who's very financially stable. And this is usually a card that indicates you and someone else will be... Um, a privileged couple, especially financially. So this is a stable offer from possibly a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. You could meet this person at work. Um, some of you, I'm looking at this uh, card. It looks like this person might be at the laundromat. If I'm not seeing this wrong, you could meet this person at some kind of place like that. I mean, if you do go to the laundromat, maybe you'll meet them there. It's, it looks like some of you may have met this person over the last year, though. Could have been at work. And if not... This person is some kind of um, boss. They have money. And it looks like they want to share their money with you. Okay. So where's the connection going? We have the next best thing. So I just feel like you are, you're elevating. It's like someone you have cut off was just dead weight. But there's someone new that's showing up here. That feels like a very, um, a stable partner. Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah, this is new love. Wow. This is a lot of potential. You have two aces here. This is really, really nice. So I do see you rebuilding. And I feel you are almost like feeling like a whole new person. Like there's somebody here that's like making you feel like a princess, making you feel like a king if you're a man or a queen if you're a woman. There's somebody here that's really putting you on a pedestal. I'm pouring a lot of emotions and feelings and um, effort into getting to know you and treating you very well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. So this has really been off to a good start. I do see you rebuilding. Some of you have definitely recently ended a relationship or you haven't been in a relationship since your last bad relationship and there's a new good relationship coming in so this relationship has the potential for whatever you two can dream of it's like the sky is the limit here you have two aces so that's the potential and the, the opportunity for whatever you two choose to make it and this um, card is showing a wishing well and these two lovebirds are here like on the ledge of the wishing well so it's like you're almost getting something you've been praying for or wishing for and your person is very generous their special message to you is that for some of the, for some of you, this person is watching you. Others of you, this person watched you for a while before they made their move. Or somebody is about to make a move if you haven't already met this person. They're very smart. They talk a lot. <laughs> and they're going to really, there's going to be like a meeting of the minds between you two. Or there already has been. Like you two really get along and understand each other. Oh my God, you have the Six of Cups. Remember y'all pulled the Six of Cups yesterday. Listen, I don't know 
why this is happening now. This is Scorpio energy. For some of you, when I say this is past energy, understand I'm not talking about a, a person that you've broken up with, even though for some of you it could be. If you have an ex that you haven't talked to in a long time and you still have feelings for them, this could be them. Six of Cups is past energy. It talks about someone you have history with, but understand it could be someone you went to school with. It could be someone, just like I told y'all yesterday, and it's coming out again. When I'm asking what your special message is, some of you are about to run into somebody. I'm seeing two men on the card dancing. So you could be two masculines. You don't have to be. They both have crowns over their heads. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you're getting with somebody with this thr throne energy, conf confirmation, I guess. <laughs> with the throne energy, you both are very regal people. You both have big personalities. You both are very outgoing, confident people. Okay, so it could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person here is somebody you run into that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, it could be, like I said yesterday, from high school, college, elementary school. It doesn't matter. Just somebody from your old neighborhood when you were younger. And it's just like the weirdest way that you run into them. I don't feel like this is somebody brand new to your life, y'all. Mm -mm. This could be somebody you missed an opportunity with before that you still care about. This is not a bad ex, so don't don't get that wrong. But there's definitely, yeah, the death card is here at the bottom of the deck with the fool and the five of cups. So somebody feels foolish and the five of swords. There's an Aquarius here, a Scorpio. Yeah, that really feels stupid. Somebody feels dumb. They feel dumb. This person likes to argue with you a lot. A whole lot. Okay, y'all. Well, that is what I am seeing. I wanted to keep this rather short, even though I went a little bit longer than I wanted to. That is what I am seeing. When it comes to this business partnership, I feel like this is somebody very outgoing, spontaneous that's coming towards you. This person likes to travel a lot. You have the Three of uh, Pentacles showing up and the Queen of Pentacles. Both of these are Capricorn energy with the Page of Cups. Somebody really got the hots for you. Somebody really is interested in you. This is a new relationship coming in, y'all. They might be younger than you just a little bit or maybe significantly younger. I don't know. But you know this person. You have known them at some point in your life. It's like your families can be interconnected some kind of way here. Because it looks like there's like three generation of people on this Three of Pentacles card. Yeah, but what I'm seeing here when I tell you about this business relationship and partnership, you have the three of pentacles, which talks about collaboration, teamwork, makes the dream work, their strength and numbers. This is a very good partner to have. Queen of Pentacles, whoever they are, they're financially stable. They care for you a lot. They do anything for you. This is somebody that I have told you all this several times. They may not want you to work, especially if they're very financially stable. This is the kind of person that will give you the option to stay home with the children or something. This lady is pushing a baby in the stroller. It's like she's just casually walking through the mall, the grocery store, wherever she owes the grocery store. And she's just like living her, her day to day life where she doesn't have to, um, worry about anything you know this is somebody that can't imagine life without you this is a really nice energy and it feels like either relationship renewal like a um yeah i said relationship renewal y'all and the next card is page of pentacles which is relationship renewal you cannot make this up wow there's like a fresh perspective on a relationship from a long time ago or a friendship or some kind of acquaintance that you've known a long time ago that's actually made it may surprise you when you meet, when you run into this person, I feel you're going to run into this person. You might run into them at the grocery store. They could work at your job, though. I'm saying a coffee shop be significant. Yeah, somebody, somebody is like about to cross paths with you that you already have some kind of history with. That is what I am seeing, y'all. Do me a big favor, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Peace out.